15th of October 2017 in the Meerkat Magic Valley Reserve of the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project. I'm currently following two individuals from Tsibokalori Yellow Mongoose Group as they are grooming the olive trees. Interestingly, they are foraging within 10 to 15 meters of each other, sometimes as close as 5 meters away. Dispersal is very close today. This is one of the references I like to make towards organic wildlife, vegetable farming, or in this case, olive tree farming where wildlife and farming can coexist in harmony. The mongooses actually remove any of the beetle grubs, the coleoptera larvae and caterpillars that would occur on the trees or vegetables in the area, which means no herbicides or pesticides are used and the wildlife actually benefit Any of the grubs that are eaten are then converted into compost because as the mongooses forage along they make little holes and occasionally they'll deposit the dung inside the holes which allows easy water infiltration next time the rain arrives. So not only do they aerate the roots of the plants, they actually remove the things that are eating the roots of the plants and then return compost to the plants which then grow even more efficiently. This is just one of the roots that the mongooses take on occasion. incredibly well camouflaged on such an overcast day it's quite difficult to see them even when I'm only a few meters away from them This is a fairly small area covered by the olive trees, actually just across from the research base itself. This is Shongololo from Tsubokalori Group. Brrr. 